Sometimes when programming for Unreal Engine, you want to pack functionality inside components so that you can reuse the functionality across different actors. In Unreal Engine, there are two groups of components that you will often come across, the scene components and actor components. Today, I will briefly describe the difference, which is pretty simple. So, if we look at an example blueprint, we can see that the components are separated into two groups, the upper half and bottom half. In the upper half, you can find the scene components and each scene component has to be either the root component of this actor or it has to be attached to another scene component. In the bottom half, you can find the actor components, which are just linked to the actor but have no further hierarchical structure. Here you can see the first difference, because the order of the scene components matters. However, the big difference is that scene components have spatial characteristics. So they can have a location, rotation and scale in relation to their parent components. Whereas actor components don't have those spatial characteristics. But when we look in code, we can also see that the scene component is an extension of the actor component class. And we already figured out that one of those extensions are those spatial characteristics of the scene components. So if you create custom components and have to decide whether your new component should be an actor component or a scene component, then think if the spatial relationship of the component to other parts of your actor has an impact on the functionality of the component. If so, then you should base your new component on the scene component class. Otherwise, an actor component might be sufficient. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you next time.